Two possibilities might come from this. Either some merms will die and leave some meat, or they might even kill the tentacle and then... Oh, ow, 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 ow. That was bad. That hurt a lot. Hello everyone, I'm Cryptic Fox. We're back to play a little bit more single player Don't Starve. Now, I'm trying to work my way through all the different characters. And I recently unlocked WX78, and, and I also actually unlocked uh, Wicker Bottom, which I guess is the librarian. Now, I, I, from what I understand, she's pretty cool, because she knows many things, and I, I think she can build things without having to have the science station, which is pretty cool. She can't sleep and hates spoilage, so I'm not sure what that means. I mean, I gather it means she can't use the tent or the sleeping bag, but the character I'm gonna try out today is WX78. Now, from what I understand, he could be a little bit a little bit more challenging because he's a little bit on the weaker side when you first start until you upgrade him with some gears and things. Uh, but he's not a picky eater, so you know, hopefully that means he can have food around a little bit longer. He'll eat stuff that's stale and that sort of thing. But give him a whirl and see how this plays out. Systems nominal. All right, we're just starting out here. It looks like uh, we actually got lucky enough to be placed in the fall, which is good because... The, uh, the automaton takes damage from rain and when he's wet, and in the springtime there's a whole lot more raining going on. Which probably makes trying to keep him alive a little bit more challenging because he's just constantly taking damage. But uh, we got lucky enough we're in the fall, which means we should have minimal rain. It doesn't mean the next season is winter. I don't know how this guy handles the cold or whatever, but I mean, being a robot, I wouldn't think he would be overly susceptible to it, but I don't know, sure, not exactly sure how that works. So I think my first objective is going to be to run around and do a little bit of exploring. Gather a few resources we can use here. Oh, score. We found some flint right away. That's good. So, I'm going to make an axe quickly. I'm gathering up flowers just in case that we do run into some rain. Then I can make a, a pretty parasol. Which, you know, doesn't do a ton to protect me from the rain. But at least will help reduce maybe the damage that I'm taking a little bit. Because I think he takes something like a half a point of damage every three or four seconds or something when it's raining. So, hopefully... Oh, nice. Butter. Off the first butterfly we whacked, too. Take that, butterfly. Sweet. So I understand that you can make some, some neat recipes and stuff with that, and I'm not entirely sure what the, how all the recipes work in the crockpot just yet. But I have looked up a few of them, so I have I have an idea of how to make a few things, and then also, fortunately enough, by playing in the, uh, in the Don't Starve Together, I've been able to kind of figure out some recipes that way, too, because people have been helping out, which is great. I think a good collection of flint here. Sweet. All right, so my, my first goal, I think, is going to be to explore a little bit after we gather some of these resources. Try to find a good place that we can set up our camp. And then try to make try to make a science machine as early as possible so that we can try and uh, build some other materials and stuff that we can use for other things. We're going to have to stockpile food and things, I imagine, for the winter, which means it would be really handy to be able to make a fridge. But it'll be interesting trying to decide what to do with um, what to do with the gears that I find, whether I should make machines for them or just use them to upgrade. Because I know that eating the gears gives them a little boost in, in like health and everything. So health and sanity and the amount, like the I don't know stomach size or how much food he can hold in them or whatever. And that's kind of going to be important for him. So uh, let's kill off this maybe some spiders. See if we can get some silk out of these things. Come on. There we go. Oh, I thought I hit him off the web, but I guess not. Oh, that one hurt. There we go. Alright, well, we only got one silk out of that, but we'll get a couple off of the... Get a couple off the little nest they made here. And we did get um, two of the spider glands, too, which can be used for healing, which I guess is good. Alright, we've got spider silk. Lots of bees around here. There must be a beehive nearby. Oh, what is going on here? It looks like this was like the scene of a major battle or something, but we've got all kinds of materials here, and I can't carry them all. So I'm going to eat the carrots here, I guess. I'm going to be ready to pick up this. Uh, if I eat... Gosh, I've got all these flowers, but I don't really have a good use for them yet. I really want to make a backpack. Okay, I'm going to eat the butterfly wings for now. I know they're, they're good for healing and stuff, but... I feel like all this meat here is just too much to leave laying around. What's all these things? Oh, those are just rocks. Hello, pig man. Man, he must have been doing it out with somebody. I I was playing before, and I actually saw a bunch of pigs fighting with mermen, and that was kind of cool. They were just battling it out, and I was able to run in and pick up stuff off the ground, which was really helpful. 
But at least we found some roads so we can explore a little more quickly. Nighttime is coming soon. I do have a torch ready, I think. Tell me I have a torch. I didn't make a torch yet. Uh-oh. You know what? Maybe I'll make a campfire because I'm gonna want to cook some food when nighttime falls anyway. So now we're ready for we're not ready for nighttime to fall. We can do some cooking, get ourselves sort of set up a little bit better for some healing and keeping our stomach full. Oh yes! So right where I, I set up my near where I set my campfire up for the night, I finally found some gold. Um, now the trouble is my inventory is pretty full, so I got a lot of room to carry stuff. I've got all these different kinds of meats, and unfortunately, are taking up a lot of space. Um, what can we do here? So, I kind of need the rocks. You know what? I know this is kind of a waste of food, because I'm going to need it eventually, but I'm going to eat this birch nut that I cooked. Alright, so we've got enough gold to make a science machine. But I'm still not really... It's not really convinced I'm in the right space here. If I could find, like, a one of those little catcoon hollow trunk kind of things, that would be really handy. Oh, look at this. We found a sunken boat, and it's got... Dangerous conditions produce this result, do you think? How do I talk to the bird? I thought you could talk to this little evil parrot thing, but maybe it's, it's only certain characters that can. I wonder if I give him... What happened if I give him some meat? Fair trade! Oh, so he gave me, like, feathers and some flint. And away he goes. So, I don't know. I've got this feather that I traded for. Now I don't know what to do with it. It seems like kind of a waste. Um, I have nowhere to put this thing. You know what? I'm going to swap it out for uh, the spider glands, which I'm sure I'm going to regret at some point. Oh, uh, yeah. We found another rock biome, and this one's got all kinds of gold laying around. And there's also a tall bird standing right amongst all the gold. Of course he is. Why wouldn't he be? Let's see if we can try and snag some of this before he comes in and tries to eat me. Or step on me or whatever it is they do. Get away from me. Evil tall bird. I didn't take your egg. You didn't have one. No, no. We finally got rain happening. Uh, I don't have... Oh, I do have silk. Okay, hold on. I think we can make us uh, an umbrella here. Uh, pretty parasol. Do I have... I do have big skin. So we should... We can't make an umbrella, but I need a science machine. Of course we need a science machine. Ah... Uh. I don't have enough flowers to make a pretty parasol right now. Nighttime's approaching again. There is a savanna here. Now, let's get an idea of how big the savanna is, and then maybe what I'll do is I'll just... Oh, there's a road right here, too. A oh, tiny little savanna. I could collect flowers, but I have nowhere to put them. Let's eat this, I guess. Now i got space for flowers. I think I need six of them to make the parasol. All right, I think that gives me enough flowers to make the, the pretty parasol. It does, so that's good. All right, we've got that. Let's take the parasol out. That's not going to do a ton to help, but aw, doesn't he look cute? His little flower garland on, and his, or whatever it is. What do they call that thing? Yeah, flower garland on, and he's got the pretty parasol. He's all flowery. Uh, we do have a bit of a challenge, though, because nighttime's falling soon, and as soon as it does, I'm going to have to put the parasol down in order to take out some sort of light source. Uh, unless I just build a campfire, which I think is what I'm going to do. Might be kind of a waste of wood. I know torches are probably the preferred approach. But, at least this way I can stay... Oh, uh, look at that. It stopped raining. I didn't even really even need the fire, but I guess I could use it to dry out. That's something. Take a little less damage. Oh, I found a swamp biome. Now, what I don't know is if... This, I take damage of the swamp biome. No, it doesn't look like it. I wasn't sure if the swamp biome would be considered wet and then end up damaging me. But in here we can find things like... Papyrus and stuff. Now, these tentacles are going to kick my butt, so I don't really want to fight them. But I would like to find maybe something else in the swamp here that's maybe already defeated a tentacle so that I can get some of the uh, some of the materials that are used to make a raincoat. That would be handy. Oh, look at There's even a road going right through the swamp. Oh, look. There's some merms fighting a tentacle up here, so two possibilities might come from this. Either some merms will die and leave some meat, or they might even kill the tentacle and then... Oh, ow, 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 ow. That was bad. That hurt a lot. Uh, I need to eat. That was maybe foolish. All right, they did kill the tentacle. I want to grab that if I can because they're... these tentacles make for good weapons. Yes, got it. All right, there's some meat and stuff there I could grab too, but I just don't have the room in my inventory to carry it right now. So I'm going to try and get out of here with this tentacle thing. Oh, run for it. I don't have a lot of health, so I really don't want to muck around down here. I hope it doesn't start raining or I'm going to be in a lot of trouble. 
This swamp turned out to be really, really big. Oh, more spiders. If you look in here, like, this swamp was, like, huge. I, I ran, like, way down there following the road. Now we're going up not following the road, which is maybe the slow way to go about it, but... I need to get out of here. Ooh, made it. All right. Oh, there's actually a, a plugged sinkhole right here, too. Oh, that's funny. This is like a little, just a little patch in the middle of the swamp that's still green. It's so weird. All right, night is falling. Uh, I have some more cooking to do, so I think I'm going to make another campfire. Do I have enough? Yeah. Let's make a campfire beside the road. Lots of rocks I could pick up here, I guess, too. Um, I'm going to do some cooking and then uh, we'll do some more adventuring tomorrow and try to find some more... I really need to find a good place to set up a good camp. I mean, I've searched this whole area still. And up here, unfortunately, there's these tall birds that block me from going through there. I need to be able to run through there quickly, but everything down here is blocked off by water, I think, so I can't really go too many other directions. Oh, I found a wormhole in the swamp. This might actually be the solution to not be able to get past those birds. It's not going to do good things for my sanity. But hopefully we can find something interesting through here. My inputs are full of slime. We found beefalo! Yeah! Oh, actually, that didn't take me all that far away. Well, there's two beefalo there, anyway. This is just a small little savanna. It's funny that there's actually beefalo on it. I think I kind of want to set up camp somewhere near those beefalo, because I think the next season that I have to deal with is winter, and the beefalo fur might be really handy. And look at that. I could have run through up here, but I thought there was water blocking it. As it turns out, it was all connected. I'm going to do a quick scout around here, and then I think I'm going to build a... Finally build up my little camp, so we'll put it near those beefalo, so hopefully we can try to shave them at night and get a little bit of beefalo fur. Oh, there's also a spider nest near here, and there's a grave, which could be handy, because there might be gears in that. Alright, I think what I'm going to do is, is make a camp near this, near this little savanna here, because there's beefalo there. There's only two of them, but... They kind of stay in the savannah, and it's really small, so at least I'll know where to find them. And we're not too far from spiders either, which could be handy for some sort of source of meat. I wish there was a cat coon right there, because that would be ideal for a meat source through the winter, but it's not the right biome for it. <laughs> I found a mandrake because it's dusk and I picked it. He didn't fall over right away. He's not following me. Spiders. Which is probably a good thing, because my inventory is kind of full, so I can get him to maybe plant himself over near where I want to camp. Like over here kind of thing. If I get him to hang out here, he might actually plant himself. And then uh, I can use him if I really need to. <laughs> but in the meantime, I won't have to actually pick him. I'm not sure what's going to happen at nighttime, though. If he's just going to kind of keep jumping around, making all those noises. That's kind of irritating. <laughs> the ground actually shakes when the beefalo go to sleep because they just kind of drop on the ground. That's funny. All right, we have a camp here now. We've got this really annoying little mandrake jumping around, but he'll plant himself when daylight comes around, and then I'll have a convenient source of healing if I really desperately need it because uh, they actually provide quite a bit. Um, I don't have much food-wise. I didn't realize I'd gone through so much food. I had a ton of it at one point, but let's build a science machine so we can actually start making things. Um, now, in terms of... The alchemy machine is going to take a whole bunch of stuff. So we're going to need two of these things, which I'm one gold short of being able to make. So I'm not going to worry about that right now. What about if, what have I got? I can make rope. I want to make a chest so we can store some stuff, but I've only got enough logs to make two, and I have no I have no inventory space either. Oh, the spiders actually come all the way over here. I didn't think they would come this far. You left me alone, though, so I guess that's not too big of a deal. Uh, let's make some more boards. Stick that over here. Now I'm gonna need to I need to harvest more wood. Oh my gosh, the little mandrake is so annoying. All right, the mandrake planted himself, which is good. Don't have to listen to that guy anymore. It's kind of a plus. Uh, I think I'm gonna let's make a chest so we can store some of this stuff, and then we'll finally be able to start to actually build up a camp. Oh, the beefalo are coming right in here too. I really wasn't expecting that. Let's put this feather on the ground until we get a chest made. Pick up all these. And let me make the chest, which we can stick over here. I'm going to make a shovel. Uh, there we go. We'll make a shovel so we can dig up these stumps and stuff here. I think that would be good. 
Which, now that we have a science machine, we should probably build an umbrella. That's a pretty parasol. There's the umbrella. Nice. All right, so I'm going to put that in here for now, because I'm going to try and stay close to the camp for the moment. Uh, I'll put this torch in here, too. These things, I guess, I can replant. Let's stick them over here. Oh, I'm hungry. I'm too hungry. Uh, I can eat the butter. Oh, it's such a waste. All right, I'm going to eat the butter. <laughs> that gave me a decent amount, but that was a waste. Oh, I could use the butter in a recipe. But I don't even have a crock pot made yet, so I guess worrying about that's not too big a deal. I really should probably try and gather up some food, since that's going to become a problem in the very near future. Well, it's not much, but I got some birch nuts we can eat, so I can start up the fire again here. Cook up these birch nuts. Now, they're actually, it's, there's like a birch biome up there, but I want to kind of hunt around and see if I can find a catcoon stump. That would be really handy, too. All right, I'm going to eat all these. Just get my food back. Wow, actually, those work really well. I just got 81 food off that. Well, I had a little bit, but I, I got all the way up to 81 food off that. That was pretty good. One thing I haven't done yet that I probably should do is make a backpack so that I have the ability to carry a little bit more. Eventually, I'm going to want to swap that over armor, I think, but for now, I'm, I have a lot of gathering I need to do. Let's go and do survival and find that backpack. There it is. Sweet! Now we can carry a lot more stuff. Let's see if we can make a razor, actually. If I can make a razor, then we might be able to... shave these beefalo when night falls. Let's see, we got bird trap. Actually, I should make those, too. I can make a bird cage that way. Fishing rod's no good, because I haven't found a... Have ponds to fish in. Now right, there's the razor, so we've got that made. I really want to shave some beef over tonight. Strange as that sounds. Am I gonna have to make a campfire? Oh, I've got one already prepared. So when night falls, those beefalo will fall asleep. I can go drop a campfire near them to keep some light, and then we can give them a quick shave and get some fur. What is this? Weber's skull. What do we do with Weber's skull? Analysis just shows 50 spiders, 50 spider and 50 human. So that's, Weber is like one of the characters you can get when you're in Don't Starve Together, but I have no idea what to do with it. Let's put it in there for now. All right, let's go find these beefalo. Where's my torch? Thought I had a torch already made, but I guess not. The beefalo can't be far. I can hear them snoring. There they are. Perfect. Okay, so let's get our razor equipped. Where's that? And then we can shave the whoops, nope. Hold on. Shave them? Please don't wake up, Beefalo. I'm not sure what the odds are of them waking up, but I don't think they're gonna be too happy with me, because I just shaved all their fur off. They're not looking nearly as stylish as they used to. Nice! I'm going to be six beefalo fur so I can try to prepare a few things for winter time when it comes around. Okay, I need more gold because I need to make an alchemy machine. Uh, cut stone. Papyrus. I'm not sure what to do with the papyrus. I have lots of the reeds, though. Let's see if these beefalo are upset when they wake up because they got no fur. Okay, no good. They're going about doing their own thing. <laughs> Steal some poop. They don't look very happy, though. They got sad eyes, those beefalo. Well, that one figure, I now found a cat coon in his little stump. And it's actually not far from where I set up camp. I'm like right down here, and I found this thing right here. Naturally. Well, that stinks, doesn't it? I think I'm gonna relocate. These guys make a really good, really good supply of food, and I don't wanna have to keep running for it all the time when I can actually just get the cat coon right nearby. So I'm gonna transmit a whole bunch of sticks up here. We'll build, I think I've got enough for another science machine. It's kind of a waste of gold, unfortunately. I'm gonna need more rocks, though, if I'm gonna make another fire pit. It's always something I'm hunting for in this game. I was able to get past the tall birds that camp out in this area at night because they uh, they fall asleep, and that got me into an area over here now where I've managed to find some graves. So we might even be able to find. Oh, there's lots of gold in here we're able to get, which is great. But I'm kind of hoping I can find some gears. Oh, there's a gem that that might come in handy. I'm less concerned about these gems though, and more about finding. Oh, my insanity's kind of going. 
Uh, apparently, digging in the oh the graveyard does not do good things for my sanity. Though my sanity shows that it's going up. Apparently, he doesn't like digging graves. Uh oh. Oh yeah, every one I dig up, I'm losing sanity, which is terrible because I, uh, I'm not so good with dealing with the shadow creatures. Um, and they're in a position where they can attack me now. Great. Uh, I better keep a weapon handy. I'm gonna try and get back to my camp. Um, see what I can do to try to maybe research some more stuff because that might help me get some of my sanity back. My sanity's going back up at least. I'm not sure why. Uh, there's the tall bird that was sleeping, so that's the one I managed to sneak past. No, 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 leave me alone! I don't want to fight you! I don't want to fight you! There we go. Phew! Man, I hate being insane. Well, I pretty much relocated my camp now. Uh, I have a couple other things left in the trunk down there I can gather up, but nothing that's really important. Uh, this area seems to be really well set up because I've got this hollow stump right here, so I seem to have a really good supply of food coming out of that um, because of the little cat coons we can get. So that gives me a really decent uh, ongoing supply of meat. Um, those two beefalo I know aren't far away, so when I need to gather more wool, I can go down there and grab that, which is good. The one thing this camp really seems to be lacking, though, is uh, access to stone. I just don't have any of it around here, uh, which maybe isn't the best thing in the world for me because I do need a bunch of it for the next little while to make some cut stone and that sort of thing, but we'll have to go out hunting for it. I think I'm going to call it a wrap for today. We've already kind of run a little bit on the long side. So we'll take our little robot friend here and we'll come back again another time, I think. It's nice that we've actually managed to survive long enough to get through this this part of the thing. We're on day number nine, and it took me quite a bit to do a bunch of the transplanting and stuff. I also need to get some more rot so that we can fertilize our berry bushes here. I'm not sure if we can use the manure for it. I'll try that out after. Uh, and then also, you know, planted a whole pile of saplings and some grass. So hopefully we'll be able to get, to get well set up here. I haven't seen the hounds just yet. I have a feeling they'll be around sometime soon, though. But thanks, everyone, for checking out the video. I do hope you enjoy these and you'll come back and check out some more. I'm, as always, Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you next time.